Hello friends, and welcome to a quick video where I'll be converting the raster image I drew a couple of weeks ago into a vector image. And you can see that video in the card above. And as always, if you're new here, my name's Darren, and on this channel I have OpenTunes tutorials, news videos, collaborations and animations. So subscribe to not miss them, and hit that bell to be notified when I release a new video. And if you're interested in animating with OpenTunes, check out the other videos on my channel, including plenty of beginner videos. So, on to today's video. And as I said, I want to create a vector version of this raster image, ready for a video in a few weeks time. And I could just trace over the lines using a vector brush, but as you may know, if you've ever tried colouring a vector image, filling a vector area with colour isn't always possible, even if the shape is closed. And the only way I've found to consistently be able to fill an area is to place down a geometric shape like a rectangle or a circle, and then adjust it using the control point editor to fit the area. And I've already made a video about this that you can see in the card above. And if you wanted to create a cutout animation, you might be better off doing it that way. But I just need a single vector drawing, so I'm going to use the built-in converter. So all you need to do is to select on the frame of the raster level, and then choose Level, Convert to Vectors. And you'll get this options dialog. And if you press the button at the bottom left with the eyeball, you get to see a preview. And if you zoom into any area of the image, like the eyeball, you'll start to see the difference that you get with a vector drawing compared to a raster drawing. And there's a number of options you can play with, and I'll just turn on a few of them. So I'll zoom out again. So the first thing you want to check you've got set is the mode to center line. If you change it to outline, that draws all of the lines as an outline with an inside and outer outline. And what we want is just a standard line, so we use center line. And you can try just in the three sliders to change the accuracy, threshold and despeckling. And you'll see a slight difference as you do so, but because we're already converting from a cleaned up raster line, the final output is fairly good anyway. So by default it converts the lines to vector and creates a new vector palette containing all the colours on the raster palette, but it doesn't actually colour it in unless you tick the box labelled Preserve Painted Areas. And then it uses the colours on the new vector palette to colour in, but you'll notice that her trousers aren't coloured in, and that's because the lines at the bottom aren't closed. And that's fine for raster levels, as they're closed at the edge of the drawing, but vector drawings don't have an edge. The size of the drawing is infinite. So what you can do in this situation is to tick the box Add Border, just here, and then you'll see an imaginary border is added, which allows them to be coloured in. So let's just press Convert, and you'll see a new column appear, which is called column 4, so let's just rename that. And if we wanted to keep the animation, we just need to stretch out the frames to match. And then if we want the animation of the mesh to work on the new vector level, we need to go to the schematic view. And where the raster version of Leela is attached to the mesh, all we need to do is also connect the vector column onto the mesh. And now the animation will apply to the vector level in the same way as it did to the raster level. So then we can just hide the raster level, so we can only see the new vector level, and you can resize it without losing any detail. I'll also add in a small zoom animation, which I'll do on a new level that I'll attach to the camera, so that I can choose to disconnect it later if I want to just show the raster animation without it. So I'll be right back in a minute. So that's it, a new animation with Vector Leela, ready to use in a few weeks time. And I'll be back next week with another video, so why not join me then? And remember, if you've got any questions or comments about this, I'd love to hear them in the comments section below. So, converting a raster drawing to a vector drawing. So easy to do, why not give it a go? And that's a Darren T.